Rails offers many tools to assist us with date and time calculations, as well as formatting of dates and times for output. These methods aren't exactly helper methods like the other ones we've been looking at, because these methods are available throughout Rails, not just in the views. These methods are additions that Rails makes to Ruby's core classes. Because they're available anywhere, the Rails console is a great place for you to try them out and experiment. Let's get an overview of what methods are available. First, we can call methods on integers in order to assist us with date and time calculations. So for example, we have second, minute, hour, day, week, month, and year. And you can call those on an integer to get the number of seconds that would make up that item. So 30.days would return the number of seconds that make up 30 days. That's useful when we have a calculation because we can do time.now plus 30 days minus 23 minutes, and it will return a date time to us that's been changed by the appropriate number of seconds. And it's much easier than actually working with those seconds themselves in the calculation to just have something that's very readable like this. We can also do calculations from time now directly. A go and from now do that. So if we have time.now plus 30 days minus 23 minutes, that's the same thing as if we said 30.days dot from now minus 23 minutes. See how that works? Time now plus 30 days is the same as 30 days from now. And a go works the same way, just using subtraction. We can also do relative date time calculations. We have beginning of day, end of day, beginning of week, end of week, and so on. All the way down the list, all the way till we get to last year and next year. These work well when we want to jump to a new time relative to the time that we already had. So for example, time.now.lastyear takes the current time and moves exactly one year back in time. And then if we say end of month, then that jumps from that point forward to the end of the month. And beginning of the day, make sure that we're at the beginning of that day, midnight. This is a good way to jump around in time to find exactly the time that you're looking for and to do it in a very readable way. Now, Ruby also offers some basic date time formatting by using the method called strftime. You can either pronounce that string from time, string for time, or string formatted time. But what you pass in as an argument to it is going to be a format string. So in my example, you see I've got a format string there with percent signs as placeholders for the month, the day, the year, the hour, and the minute. Each of those symbols that represent each of those placeholders is called a format code. And these are a standard set of format codes that exist across a number of programming languages, not just Ruby. You can pause the movie if you need to look for a specific format code to help you to write a format string. Rails also offers us some date time formatting. We can take a date time and call two underscore string on it. That'll convert it to a string. And then we pass in as argument the format symbol that we want. Not a format string like we had with string for time, but a format symbol. And there are a number of default format symbols built into Rails. So for example, if for the format symbol we passed in colon db, then it would return a string formatted like you see there on the right. 2013-01-09, and then space, and then the time, including the seconds after it. The six formats that you see listed are all built into Rails by default. But you don't have to use one of those. You can also use your own custom format. You just have to define that, and the best place to do that is in your initializers file. So if you open up config, slash initializers, and in there put a new file called date underscore formats dot rb, you'll be able to add your own custom definitions. And those custom definitions should look like the line right above that. Time colon colon, and then in all caps, date formats, that's a constant, and then in square brackets, the name that you want to assign to your new format. And then equal sign followed by the format string, following those same format codes that we just saw a moment ago. Now, there are not a lot of dates in our simple CMS application, but any time that we displayed created at or updated at in the staff area, we could use these methods to make it look a lot nicer. 